10 things you didn't know about money. Number 10. If you have $10 in your pocket and no debt, you have more wealth than 25% of Americans. Wealth is unevenly distributed throughout the world and throughout the United States. Six members of the Walton family, the family that owns Walmart, have more wealth than the bottom 30% of Americans. Number 9. Living presidents are banned from having their faces on currency. By legislation created during the revolutionary years in the United States, no living person can be featured on a coin. It has to ensure that the United States would not appear like a monarchy, as living kings during the era were cast onto their country's coinage. There has been one exception to this rule though, President Calvin Coolidge. His image was struck on a commemorative coin that celebrated the sensequential of American independence. It was minted in 1926. Number 8. The most counterfeited bill in the country is the $20 bill. In early years of the nation, counterfeiting was a crime punishable by death. The most counterfeited denomination of money is the $20 bill followed by the $100 bill. In foreign countries, the US $100 bill is the most frequently counterfeited. Number 7. Dollar bills are filthy, often turning up traces of salmonella and E. coli. According to several recent studies, money in your wallet is some really dirty stuff. The older the bill, the more contaminants are present, including salmonella and E. coli. Bills that are printed on primarily cotton materials were found to have the highest level of bacteria, where those created on newer, slicker polymers, they had the least. Number 6. The first woman to appear on US coins wasn't even American. Several women have appeared on US coins. The very first woman was actually not an American, she was a Spanish queen. Featured on a commemorative coin, Queen Isabella of Spain was the first lady to be cast on US coins in 1893. First Lady Martha Washington, however, she is the first woman to appear on circulated paper money. Number 5. Coins have ridges to protect against counterfeiting. Most of us use coins to purchase items from vending machines or we throw them in a bank to save them for a rainy day. But coins have a fascinating history. Did you ever wonder why the quarter has so many ridges on its edges? They were created to prevent counterfeiting. Yes, even back in those gentler times of colonial America, there were improvising criminals trying to counterfeit money. These counterfeiters would shave the edges off coins because they were made of silver and gold. A $10 gold piece was made with $10 worth of gold. To make a little extra money, people would shave the edges off coins to collect the metal. If done well enough, the smaller coins would not be noticed by merchants and they, in effect, would get less than $10 in gold for a purchase. This gave the counterfeiter extra gold or silver to make into more coins. Today, the ridges remain as a form of braille for the seeing impaired. There are 119 grooves on the edge of a quarter. Number 4 Now here's a funny one. More Monopoly money is printed every year than real money. According to the official Monopoly website, Parker Brothers prints $50 billion in Monopoly money each year. According to the For Ask Question page of the Bureau of Engraving and Printing, the US government produces 22.5 million currency notes per year, or 8.2 billion US dollars every year. Number 3. Apple makes $4,540 a second. That's more than the average American monthly salary which was $3,769 in 2011. Apple is worth around 733 billion US dollars, more than Google and Microsoft put together. Number 2. About 15% of millionaires didn't bother with a college degree. Mark Zuckerberg and Bill Gates aren't the only millionaires without diplomas. Spectrum Group found that 85% of millionaires have college degrees. Another 12% attend college and drop out. On the other hand, 31% also earned an advanced degree. Number 1 In the course of its average 20 months in circulation, US currency gets whisked into ATMs, clutched, touched and traded perhaps thousands of times at coffee shops, conference stores and newsstands. And every touch to every bill brings specks of dirt, food, germs or even drug residue. Researchers presented this weekend reinforced previous findings that 90% of paper money circulating in US cities contains traces of cocaine. Alright guys, that's it for this countdown, don't forget to subscribe to stay informed. Peace.